Coming up next on Action News, fear about AIDS rears its ugly head. It's hurting blood donations in this area. And the Macon Area School appears to be the first to decide on a policy affecting AIDS in the school. Plus, a task force is formed to learn the best ways for treating AIDS patients. We'll have those stories. A local pet store is shut down amid charges of illegal drug use. And on the Hollywood Beat, we'll hear from cast members of a new ABC series called Spencer for Hire. And we've got sunshine and cool temperatures ahead in the five-day forecast. We'll have all that, plus we'll hunker down at Woodruff Park for a dog rally. It's all coming up next on Action News at Noon. Now you have a choice, but with the breakup of the bell system, the market is wide open. But is the change for the better? This telephone situation has served us well for well over 100 years, you know, and I don't see any reason for breaking it up. What happens if something goes wrong with your discount phone? Where can you go for help? In an Action News special assignment, Jan Costello connects you with the facts about new phone services. The big breakup begins Monday at 6 and 11. From WSB-TV, Atlantis News Channel, this is Action News with Monica Kaufman, Wes Sargentson, Bob McLean Sports, and Russ Minshew with the weather. Good evening. One of the things Atlantis hates the... From WSB-TV, Atlantis Emmy Award winning news channel, this is Action News with Terry Wood, Monica Kaufman, Bob McLean Sports, and Russ Minshew with the weather. Good evening, I'm Terry Wood. And I'm Monica Kaufman. Coming up next on Action News, threats of federal prosecution because of the Atlanta Zoo. Federal agents make arrests in connection with the bombing of an adult entertainment club. And graphic testimony marks the opening day of testimony in Robert Conklin's murder trial. Stay with us. The sale's next on Action News. This is Action News with John McKnight, Jill Becker, Ernie Johnson Sports, and Dan Atkinson with the weather. Good evening and happy Easter. The weather would be like this. Russ Minshew, weeknights at 6 and 11 on Channel 2's Action News.